Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Uh, we're doing um, a couple of access control products. We're doing uh, the Presco uh, range. We're not doing the whole range. We're just doing a few products which are very versatile. Um, like if you're wanting a, a small type of access control system, these systems are awesome. They're made in Australia. They work very well. Uh, we use them and these are some of the parts you can have with them. I've shown in a previous video the rugged type of keypad. I've shown the other one which is a proximity keypad. And this one is purely just a indoor proximity and uh, combo keypad. Um, it has the light on the top. It has the should have the backlights as well. We're going to power it up. Uh, part number on it is P PSC16. It is available from our lock shop. And um, yeah, I thought I'd power it up and show them to you. All of these products, um, you see the warranty that comes with it. All these products um, are easy to use for uh, locksmiths. That's one of the reasons why they're, you know, one of my favorites is because you can simply hook them up, program them up, and they work. Very similar to some of the access control locks that we all know and use. Uh, so that's good. I mean, they're not too complicated. Sometimes when things get too complicated and you need to start uh, installing a big system, installing new software, and need a PC and all this sort of stuff, it gets too complicated. So these are more like standalone type access control systems where you've got an easy reset button. Um, they only take you, you know, an hour or two to install, depending on your cabling, and they're also very functionable. This one here has the proximity um, proximity part of it. So I'll see if I can swipe a token and see what it does. You've got to remember too, this is not a, an access control system, this is just a keypad. And I'm really just showing you some of the functions of this keypad. Before I power it up, I'll give you a, a quick insight into what it does. It outputs uh, the Presco and Wigan format data. Uh, auto sensors outputs types required via the, heart, via the wire connections. Uh, read range is up to 20 centimeters, so I could swipe this about 20 centimeters away and I'd still get a, still get a read. Compatible with PAC, uh, access control door controllers, which we know because it came from the same company. Um, compatible with industry standards, 26-bit Wigan uh, system format, fully configurable to systems with up to 64-bit and data from keypads. Okay, so you can, you can use it on different systems. Low-cost uh, non-shielded cable up to a kilometre. So you can get a bit, a bit of range between the controller and the keypad for standard type of cable installations, which is good. Uh, custom proximity cards and tags are available. Wigan format. Uh, operating, operating voltage, 8 to 15. O operating current, for, uh, 150 milliamp. Operating temperature, 0 to 50 degrees. Um, it is an indoor controller, so I wouldn't be mounting it outdoors. And with that range, it's pretty much in the middle. You'd need to be in a snowy place for it to get any lower than that. Uh, frequency is 125 kilohertz. Size is 126 mil by 80 mil by 17.5 mil. Weight is um, 145 gram, nothing. Uh, 36 month warranty. Okay, now we've got all the specs out of the way. Let's um, make sure we're not gonna zap it. Apply power. Ooh, nice fancy colors happening there. We're on red. Of course, it's got no controller hooked up, so I'm not expecting much. Okay, read it. Read it. Oh, geez, it's reading quite a distance here. So if I'm, I'm probably about 50 mil away from it now, and it's reading at that distance, which is pretty cool. Fast swipe, slow swipe, swipe from the side. Yeah. Okay, so it's reading quite a bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to challenge it now. Put a big lock in front of it, see if it reads. No, it doesn't. Okay. So it's got a bit of range on it, which I like. It's got the beeping function, which is quite nice. You will need to rotate your codes because sometimes you can get imprints in the actual um, in the actual uh, front of it if you use the same code for years on end. But on saying that, that's not a bad uh, not a bad keypad uh, mounting. Let's look at the mounting on this. Looks like you flick this one up. Let's turn the power off first. I don't want to zap this, uh, zap this stuff. So a little posy down the bottom, you just flick it up. 
Okay, mounting. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's your standard power um, footprint. So you most likely will, well, looking at it, I'm 100% sure you can get a, a lifter box from Bunnings, for you know, bring it out, allow you to run your cables down the wall um, and conduit straight on a, onto a wall, conduit straight down, put it through a lifter box, uh, terminate it on the back and away you go. So two screws up there, very similar to a PowerPoint. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a PowerPoint type footprint because they make these things um, easy to install. Um, that's uh, that's the back of it there. If you do need any help with their products, um, they do have tech support. We are not tech support. You've got your red uh, 12 volt. You've got your ground. You've got your uh, white data, green DO, blue is buzzer. Um, sorry, brown is buzzer. Blue is blue LED. Yellow, blue LED minus. Um, yellow is sorry. Orange is set options and drain is solid um, solid ground okay so that's the Presco PSC 16 we will do a video on hooking these um, things up to um, a pack controller and just a very simple one pretty much just showing off the product at the moment and um, yeah they're out there they're being used all the time they're easy for locksmiths you're not having a huge system they're in actual fact Here's the controller here. So the way these work is you just supply 12 volt power on one side from a power pack or a uh, some sort of you know something that a battery or something that's not going to fail when the power goes off, and um, you wire it up on this side. You wire up your electric strike. You run a long cable, throw this in there, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, when we do the wiring on this, you'll see it, and as you see it, it looks kind of technical, but it's not. And they've also updated the products quite a bit now. Before, in this type of setup, you'd never get the little USB and you'd never get the software in the USB included, but now you do. And they can also do other things such as data logging, which has not really been part of their structure in the past. Many a times we've, um, we've actually installed these systems and things and people said, well, who opened up last? They didn't have any of that. So at least with the newer, newer products they're bringing out, they've got that function and um, it's going to be interesting to really test it. On this particular keypad, a few of the factors that I was pretty happy with was the distance of the swipe, which means that um, know, although it's just a card and I can swipe it from a distance, when people start putting them in their wallets and things, you know, maybe that will, uh, you know, with that extra distance, maybe it will make it a little bit easier to, to read it in that sort of for format. That's something we didn't actually try. What about corruption from... Um, what about corruption from you know other cards in your wallet? Let's try that. I'm going to put this card in my wallet. I've got a, a dozen of those smart cards in there. Okay, it's still reading it. You've got to remember too. I have multiple cards in my uh, multiple HIDs in my wallet. So uh, multiple HIDs and RIF. Let's try this one. Okay, so that's not reading it. So I have um, in my wallet. I carry the uh, the touch and go cards. So I've got multiple ones of them. Okay, and we're reading. And just to show you how far we're reading from. Okay. So that's fairly impressive on a large and on a large building where you've got hundred people swiping, um, quick access. People don't want to have to make too much contact. They just want to swipe and go past. So I think for what it is and for what it's doing, and also the price on these particular products is fairly reasonable and uh, the support and things is excellent. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 